blueprint about what's happening right now that goes back almost 3,000 years but lies behind everything that's happening. This is a biblical paradigm and it's kind of like the other dimension of the harbinger. The harbinger is showing the signs of, of warning of judgment. Well, this is everything else. We are, we are replaying an ancient mystery where we are right now and it's amazing and it is something, it's true, it's real and it's there. Where is this paradigm found? Well, this is, all right, you, you, when you look in the Bible and you look at the, the, what happened to ancient Israel, Israel knew God, but they turned away from God. They drove God out of their lives. They called evil good. They promoted immorality. They started lifting up their children as sacrifices to Baal, and they start descending. Well, we are replaying that. We, America has known God. We've been replaying. We've been calling good evil. We've been promoting immorality. We've been lifting up our children. So as Israel did, we're, we're we are the doing same footsteps. It, it, exactly. But here's the thing. It's not just a general thing. There's a specific period in Israel's history, in the Bible, a specific period that the, the apostasy accelerates, it deepens, mm -hmm. where the leaders actually are promoting it now. It's almost like a war of culture. Well, that period, that special period, that's where we are now. It's accelerated. And that is where the paradigm actually gets so specific, it gives details, it gives names, it gives dates, all that. that is the, that's the setting of the paradigm. Let's start, let's yeah. focus on yes. an individual, the yes. king yes. in this paradigm. Yeah, the, the culture war begins where, where in the Bible there is a king who rises up and he, he, uh, he is the first one who pioneers, he, he's like pushing Baal worship and the name is Ahab or Ahab in Hebrew, Ahab. And he rises up, now he's a divided man. He was actually, raised, his culture is about, supposed to be about God, but he wars, he's divided, he's compromised. He's, he's actually, he's actually weak-willed in many ways, but, but he, he launches this war. He's the first one to actually champion from the throne uh, Baal worship, which is the offering up of children. Now, now could, there be, could there be a parallel? Well, there is. There's a man who, is, who rises as president. He is Bill Clinton. He's going to follow the template of Ahab. He's a man who's divided. He's compromised. He actually came from the Bible Belt. Um, he, he has uh, weak, he's weak-willed in many ways, but he champions. He's the first president to champion abortion from the White House. He's the first president to champion uh, various forms of immorality. And also, by the way, Ahab also is going to be known for scandal as well. So that's a, But yes, he has someone with him. It's the first time in Israel's history that the Bible speaks about a, 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 a team, a king and queen, both engaging in this culture war. And so who's the other one? The other one is, of course, Jezebel. Mm -hmm. And again, we've got to pray for everyone, but Jezebel. Jezebel, she come, she's the daughter of a pagan priestess. She actually, who worships Ashtoreth. This is that, that was her father, worshiped that. So she's, she's steeped in female power. She's worshiping that. She goes, she's from a cosmopolitan Polydian culture, but she moves to a conservative culture to be with her husband. Okay, that's where he's from. And she, but she maintains her identity. She will champion, she will see biblical traditional values as deep-seated religious beliefs as a, as a hindrance. She will war against them. She will also champion, she's the champion of Baal worship. And so she, her main cause is the offering up of children in the end. So what is the parallel? Well, it's very clear. Uh, and that is that Bill Clinton was not alone. It was a team for the first time in American history. You had a, a president and a co kind of a co-presidency and you have her she she is Hillary Clinton is a uh, an advocate of uh, female power advocate of abortion advocate she literally said deep-seated religious beliefs have to be changed all right so so, so hang on you're saying that the same way that it happened yes. with Israel same yes. time frames yes in some prophetic sense yes. from God is yeah. being lived out again even even to the same date yeah let me let me give an example we'll do more of it let me give an example uh, Bill Clinton when did he come to when did he come on the national stage. Well, it was he was elected as as governor of Arkansas. He goes right from there. Later on, he becomes president. So, 79. So, when did he end? It was at the it was 2001. He is his office is ended. He leaves the presidency. So, you have 1979 to 2001. How many years? It's 22 years. Open up the Bible, open up the Bible to what it says. How long was was Ahab? Ahab, the days of Ahab were 22 years. The same exact. All right. So, so you have Ahab with this Jezebel, again, we're not yes, calling Hillary yeah. Clinton Jezebel, we're but praying it's a, for her. It's a template. It's a, a template. template. Right, right, right. You're just making it's this clear. You've got to pray. It's a template. Right, right. But, but she, she brings in stuff with her, doesn't she? Well, well what, what does the Bible say about Jezebel? She go, and it's not saying that she knew what she was doing, that, that Hillary Clinton knew what she was doing, but Jezebel, it says, literally brought in priests and priests of the gods and goddesses into the palace, to the highest throne. You see that in the Bible. Well, could that happen? I mean, that'd be crazy. How could, how, how would that happen with a White House? Would that, well, it actually happened. 
in the in the Clinton years, what happens is the Clintons actually bring spiritual advisors, they're not biblical, but they're new age advisors, to Camp David and to the White House. And literally, they have sessions, this is Hillary Clinton, has a, has a woman there who's called a high priestess, who actually speaks of the goddesses. She had a goddess around her neck, uh, the image of a goddess around her neck. She actually, the, the worship of these goddesses in the time of Jezebel involved channeling, involved speaking to the dead. Actually, Se something like that. And actually, they had channeling in the White House. Hillary Clinton was actually speaking as someone who was not, who was not, who was dead. And the actual, this woman actually spoke, she wrote a book about speaking to the gods and goddesses. And she actually mentions the god, the goddess of Jezebel in her book. And they actually had, had these sessions in the White House. So even this took place. Wow. Crazy, but it actually happened. Okay, All right, the paradigm. All right, friends, <laughs> we, we are just getting started. You won't.